Pastor Joe here. It is time for our Tuesday e-blast. Let me take a few minutes of your time here. One, if you were in church this Sunday, it was awesome. It was Father's Day. All you dads that were here, God bless you. God bless you. If for whatever reason you couldn't make it as a, as a dad, I really want to encourage you to go look at our live stream that we, that we sent out. It's on Facebook. It's also probably been posted on YouTube by now called The Father's Wisdom because there's some really good insights from the Word of God uh, that we shared on Sunday morning service. I think it will be helpful to you uh, to share it with someone else. Take the moment just to click the share button, share it with your whole list. Amen. Uh, but let me just tell you about personal experiences Sunday morning as pastor. Uh, you know, I do two campuses, uh, at nine o'clock and, and the 1045 at spring. So around, uh, 730, 745-ish, I'm pulling into the parking lot at, uh, the spring campus and there's already people there. Uh, the band is there. There's people arriving. Our ushers are getting there early. We have a group of men who come and pray with me there in the morning. We're getting there. We have, uh, uh, nursery workers coming in, children's workers, people just starting to come to church. And I just struck my heart with a real attitude of gratitude just to thank God for those people who, who come and serve and love, the, and love the church. And it was pretty much similar when I pulled in the spring park and I was there, I think about five minutes early uh, before the service started. I don't always get there that early, but it, depending on how long winded I was at the Magnolia campus. But just when I, I, was, I was sitting there watching people come in, and into the service, and I told Kathy as, as we're sitting in the parking lot just for a moment, I said, you know, I thank God uh, for the, for these people who are just coming into church and showing how much they love God and want to be a part of the kingdom of God. And I was just kind of overwhelmed in that moment with the heart of, of, our, of our church and the people of our church. In fact, you know, I just sat down and, and, and thought today about how much I do love Believer's Fellowship and how much I do love what God has done. And I, I really was able to point to three things uniquely the same three things that are our vision statement. One, I love this church because our church loves God. I mean, they come, they serve, they give, they tithe, they participate, they they encourage, they, they, they're they there, they're there to reach out to and, and honor the Lord, they sing, they, I mean, they're just there for each other, but mostly it goes back to their love for God is the reason that they do all those particular things. It, the caring, the giving, all that just flows from a heart of love. And I love that about Believer's Fellowship. Second thing I love about, about our church is their love for each other. This is a very unique fellowship. I mean, we are one church, two campuses. And in that one church context, uh, uh, there is such a diversity of folks and people, uh, ethnically, uh, culturally, background-wise, vocationally, just a lot of different folks from a lot of different strokes. But to watch it in action within the kingdom of God, to see how they demonstrate such a spirit of caring for one another, not a spirit, you know, uh, of, of jealousy and selfishness. And, of course, people always deal with elements of, of our own uh, immaturity at different times. But overall, the love for each other is astounding. The unity of the Spirit is astounding. The, the enthusiasm of seeing one another and enjoying each other's fellowship. I mean, that's what church is supposed to be anyway. I mean, for you that are not regular members of, or, and attenders of a church, you need to get in on a church like, like Believer's Fellowship. And they're out there. Uh, they're not as many as there used to be because I'm so absorbed with the, uh, this uh, so, uh, secret sensitivity that they, they miss the Savior sensitivity. But that's just it's exciting to be a part where people just love God and care for one another. If one has a need, the others are taking care of it. They're, they're giving, they're ministering, they're, 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 they're coming over helping folks. It's just exciting to see. The third part is that part about loving a, a lost world. It's really genuine at Believer's Fellowship. It, it, it shows up in the fact that they, the way they give to missions, the way they reach out to the community, the way they uh, manifest through things like our, our prayer, our, our prayer wall and praying for others. I mean, hundreds and hundreds of prayer requests come in all the time. We have this giant prayer wall at both campuses and we put these prayer requests over them and they have to be cleaned off about once a month because it just, it's covered. I mean, it's like, and that wall is like, you know, eight feet tall and 16 feet wide and uh, it's a portrayal of the, of the wailing wall. But anyway, we put all these prayer requests on it's evident that people love people that aren't necessarily believers and they aren't necessarily a member of our church. In fact, some are just living an ungodly life. There's such a compassion and such a prayer that goes on and such a concern for people who don't know the Lord. I watch our church, and we're like with pray and go, just go out and they, you know, 90-something degrees on Saturday, they're out going door to door with the local communities, just praying for each home as they go by and, and leaving a note on the door just saying, we pray for you and for your house. If there's anything Believers Fellowship can do for you, give us a call. And we have the contact information. It's just a matter of, that's love. And that's love for the lost, and that's love for a lost world. And I thank God, because as I said, that's pretty much our mission statement, is, is, is these three 
terms, three statements. We love God. We love people reach the world. And that is so evident. And that is why I love Believer's Fellowship. I love you. And I, without getting mushy and gushy, I just want to let you know that your pastor does really love you. And he loves this church. And I know he, that many of you love it the same way that he does it. So let's continue to be what God's called us to be. And let's continue to love God, love people, and reach the world around us for the glory of God. Let's continue with our service. Let's continue with our giving. Let's continue with, with our, our, our worship together. And let's see what God has for us in these days that are ahead of us. Good days. Amen. Uh, yeah, they're hard and critical and difficult. And man, there's a lot of junk going on. But hey, we're in the kingdom. We're, we're a holy race, part of a whole different setup. So let's enjoy who we are and what God's called us to be and called us to do. I love you. God bless you. That's all I have for you today.